What is going on bowlers? Chris Beans here with Bowlers Rant and today we are looking at a short pin layout on the Storm Electrify Hybrid using a no thumb drilling. Before we get started, please like, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you can get everything fresh, crackling hot from Bowlers Rant. Like usual, when I get new rocks, I took this ball to Zookie's Pro Shop here in Tampa, Florida to put a short pin no thumb layout on this ball. The pin to pap is two and a half inches and the valve is 35 degrees. I wasn't sure what to expect when I drilled it, but I found out real quick. This ball has a reactor based cover. It's fairly responsive to friction and the valve I put on this ball only added to the sharp reaction you see on the back end when the ball sees friction. Like all shiny hybrids, this is a tale of two balls. Keep it in the oil, it can be smooth, but get it to the dry, it comes back hard. Only to make things more stupid fun is my 430 rev rate and at about 15 to 16 miles per hour, this is something I absolutely have to use on the fresh as a rev dominant medium speed player. It's crazy how inexpensive this ball is. I think a lot of people feel like they have to buy high end stuff to see the ball snap and that is simply not true. Low differential balls will move with the right layout but it really comes down to what the ball is designed to do. This ball to me felt like a blend of a high road and an IQ emerald but an arrow weaker. For anyone who's a cranker, I really enjoy short pin layouts because they can really help with getting the ball down the lane, but watch your val. Small numbers mean stupid snap and that isn't always the best. What good is power if you can't use it, right? 55 to 65 degree valves have been kind to me on symmetrical balls for what it's worth, but I'm also not complaining about recovery. This is a ball that with proper oil, I like throwing front to back, but I don't want to use it to chase the shot because I simply like stronger pins when I want a boomerang like an IQ Emerald. Resurface this if you want it to go longer, but in short, I really like this ball when I have enough oil to support the reaction. And there you have it, a short pin layout on the Storm Electrify Hybrid. I want to thank Mikey Pinnell at Bowling Science for helping me with the selection on this layout. And of course, if you are interested in learning more about this ball and where you can pick it up, I've got a link in the description where you can get this on bowlersmart.com. So what do you think of the Storm Electrify Hybrid? And what do you think of the short pin layout? Would you ever try to add one of these to your arsenal? And if so, would you go with this layout or something different? Drop me a comment. Let me know. Let's continue the conversation. More updates are coming. And until then, bow well.